Hello YouTube. Today I'm sharing with you my recipe for my famous Uncle Bud's oatmeal cookies. I have tweaked this recipe to where it is more of a soft oatmeal cookie recipe and not the harder crunchier type that sometimes is kind of dry also. We're going to start out by measuring out our dry ingredients which are our flour, soda, salt, and baking powder. We're going to need four cups of unbleached flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and one and one half teaspoons of baking soda. Set that aside and we're going to cream our butter and oil together. And you've got that incorporated well together. We're going to add three cups of brown sugar. This is actually a reduced sugar recipe. This recipe would normally call for four to four and a half cups of brown sugar. After you've got the brown sugar incorporated in with your oil and butter, we're going to add four large, preferably organic, home-raised farm eggs like ours. These were laid yesterday right here in the backyard. Add those a couple at a time and beat them until they're creamy and incorporated and mixed in with the mixture. Once that's done, we can start adding our dry ingredients, which is the flour, salt, soda, and baking powder. Add that into your mixture slowly. That way you get it well incorporated into your batter. As you can see, the flour mixture gets pushed up on the side of the bowl. So when you've got all the flour incorporated in, you'll want to stop the mixer, take a spatula and press down the, the flour that's built up on the side of the bowl, turn the mixer back on, and incorporate all that in. We're going to be using five cups of old-fashioned oats, and we're going to also be using two cups of pecans. Have this pre-measured and ready to go in, because this will go a little bit faster, uh, adding the oats into your mixture. It does kind of bog the mixer down, and you don't want to run the mixer too long with it bogged down. After you get your oats added in, go ahead and dump your pecans in. I'm using small pecan halves. Uh, we like the flavor of the whole pecan in the cookie. If you're feeding these cookies to kids, do chop your pecans up. Uh, you wouldn't want your child to, cut, to sw swallow a whole pecan and possibly choke on it. So chop your pecans if you prefer to or you're feeding them to kids. Once it's all incorporated together, cut your mixer off, remove the paddle, and then take a spatula and scrape all the dough off of the paddle. We'll be using a small ice cream scoop. You'll need two cookie sheets lined with parchment paper and your oven preheated to 350 degrees. This recipe will make around 80 to 85 cookies. Once you scoop out the 15 scoops onto your cookie sheet, you'll need to take your hand or a fork and press the dough down around halfway. This keeps your cookie uniform in size and where it's not too thick in the center. These cookies only bake 10 minutes. Uh, I have two turned over so you can see the browning effect that this 10 minute baking time has on these cookies. They are still chewy even though they are brown at this point. If you would like them less brown then just bake them a little bit less by around a minute. If you like them darker brown then bake them a little longer. My mom likes them crunchy so I actually baked hers around 3 minutes longer than this recipe was baked. Hope you enjoy the recipe. Um, when you get your cookies done, just remove them to a cooling rack and then store them in um, a container that you can seal up to keep the cookies fresh. Please give us a thumbs up for the recipe and join our channel so you can be notified when we have any new recipes that come out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below or send us an instant message. We will answer anything that we can. This is the Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.